Welcome on board the Tema Accra Railway Shuttle, which recommenced operations on the 18th day of July 2022. It is the second day of the recommencement of operations, and today we bring you an exclusive on how it feels to be on a Ghanaian railway shuttle. We'll be speaking to some of the passengers to find out their experience and to also um, we'll also be speaking to officials of the Ghana Railway Company Limited to find out how it has been getting here. So we have here some officials of the Ghana Railway Company. They will be speaking to us about how the newly commenced shuttle, the shadow is like especially for this model. Yes, um, um, we are still um, having a KTK feeling. Um, it started yesterday and with today we expect um, um, our, our, the patronage to be much more better than yesterday. So um, the train sets off um, exactly 6.15 a.m. at Temahabo and um, it moves to Asokochona, through to Bachona, to Achimota, um, then through to Odo, then it gets to Accra Railway Station around 7.45 a.m. Approximately um, one hour, 35 minutes. With the, with the train, you are guaranteed um, a safe ride. Um, punctuality is, as, as you know, is a trademark and um, it's, it's reliable. It's reliable, yes. And as, as you can see, the, with the um, real transportation, it's relatively cheaper as compared to um, the cars. We are still in the first class cabin of the Accra, uh, Tema Accra Railway. We will speak to one commuter here. Chief, good morning. My yes. name is George from Ghana Web. Your name? Well, I'm Godwin. Okay. Yeah. Um, you are heading towards Accra. What, what, what is that, where is that least your destination? Shangri-La. Um, were you on board yesterday? Yeah, I was on board. Was okay. on board. So you were just waiting for this to happen? Yeah, I was actually waiting for that because, I mean, it saves a lot of time. Me moving from Tema here to um, Kanda all the time. The traffic, the cost involved, everything. So, I mean, this one gives you Talking about cost involved, um, let me say just before yesterday you were traveling with uh, by road and all. Yeah. Um, comparatively, how much were you spending on transport between then and now? Well, I would say I was spending uh, 30 cities, about 30 cities from here to work and out every day, 30 cities. But now, going I think it was five cities now. So five cities, five cities. So let me say um, eighteen cities, roughly eighteen cities now. That's about like close to about two hundred percent. Eighteen cities, eighteen cities now. So I think it's, it's it's quite better. It's better. Most people are, are. I mean, they have the perception that the train is not as safe. You see the way it is dancing. Some people are, they have the perception that it's not that safe to be on the train, but then I mean, it's very safe, reliable, and I'll, I'll, I'll urge them to have the experience because it's an exciting one. Um, if you patronize, yeah. I have one of the students here with me. What, what's your name? Um, Betty. Betty. Okay, Betty, where do you school? Um, I'm really senior high school. So, um, how is the experience for you? It's okay. It's, it's easy for me compared to picking a car. So, at first, when do you leave home and when do you get to school? And how, how does it compare to now? Um, I leave home around uh, 6, 30 or something. And I get to school getting to 8. But when, now? When I leave, like, it's now 6, 30, and I'll get to school for 7. And, and on your return to? Oh, I don't pick it. I use a normal car. As you can see, the entire cabin is getting filled up. This is a clear indication that 
the newly recommenced shuttle is beginning to pick numbers as compared to the first day of operation. We are still going to speak to some passengers. As a matter of fact, I wasn't looking forward to it because when I saw the publication, I was looking out for the time. Uh -huh, because the time it will move will really affect my decision to use it. Uh -huh. So I was just at the bus stop and then I saw people gathering and I checked the time and I realized that it's within the range. Uh -huh. So maybe if the times, the pickup times are known, we can use it to make a decision. I'm looking at before 7.30, 7.45 I should be at the office. So that's fine. You are paying five cities for this ride. How, how does it compare to your previous expenses? Uh, in terms of even the total money, it is okay. Then in terms of the time factor, the fact that you escape all the traffic and all of that, the convenience is good. And I think that if it is continued, it is something that is good. So after four stops, we are at our feet and final stop and destination there. At Bobloshi Market or Mokola, as you can call it, in Accra. As you can see behind me, um, hordes of passengers are disembarking. We will speak to, we will get a final word from some officials of the railway company and we will wrap it up here. So, um, tell us what's the difference in terms of numbers between yesterday when you started and this morning? Okay, so thank you. Yesterday, because that was the very first day that we were starting services, the numbers were a bit on the lower side. Okay, but comparing to today, today it is on the higher side. Today, per my own, I haven't, I'm gotten the actual figures yet, but per my own, you know, I mean, per what I also assessed inside the train, the numbers would hover over 100. Yesterday, they were a bit less. But the point is that we are hoping that going forward, okay, I mean, passengers will get wind of this service and then they will come. While we also, you know, tackle the publicity aspect from our side as a company. So it was quite um, a pleasant journey from Tema up to Accra and the passengers are very hopeful that this will be long lasting and are very happy about the benefits in terms of um, time and cost cut cutting. The Ghana Railway Company as well is hoping that it can increase patronage with time. For Ghana Web TV, George DEC.